Hey there. Today I'm teaching how to draw the Archer Queen from Clash of Clans. So we're going to start up at the top of her head with the bangs of her hair. So the bangs come down sort of in a V shape towards the middle of her nose. So I'll start on the left side here. So at the top left, I'm just going to come down towards the center of her face. In the middle here, I'm just going to draw a little notch, like an upside down V. I'm going to bring this line back up to the same height as this point here. So I'm just going to look to my left and just draw that line into the towards the right. So there's the bangs. And then from here, now I can plot in the eyes. So in the middle of this line here is where the eye is going to be located. So starting on the left side, I'm just going to draw a curve going upwards, up into that hair bang. Then from here, I'm just going to do an overlap. So I'm just going to come in a little bit on the left side and curve this line up. So that's the bottom part of her eye. Now that I have that in place, before I draw the pupil, I want to go to the right side and just plot this one in as well. So just making sure that the height of the eye is the same from the left to the right. So I'll go over here and draw that curve down. Now, similar to what I did over here, I'm going to try to get this bottom line for the right eye the same height. So I'll just kind of eyeball that and go up like so. Now I kind of wanted that little overlap at the end there, but that's okay. If you miss that, that's totally fine. Let's go to the left side again. I'm going to draw her pupil. So I'm going to draw sort of a circle, but I'm going to leave a gap at the bottom because I want her to look sort of upwards, not down or to the left or right. So looking in the center of her eye, I'm going to try to make it so that there's a little gap at the bottom here. So let's go ahead. Kind of like that. So you have a little bit of a gap, so it makes it look like she's looking upward. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Now let's go back to the left. I'm going to draw a small little iris in the center. So a smaller circle in the middle of that pupil. And then I'm just going to color it in except for the top left corner. That just gives a little bit of highlight. We'll do the same thing on the right side here. Just color that in. Let's go to the nose. So where there's notches, I'm just going to tuck in an upward curve, like so, to the tip of her nose. And then I'm going to curl this back in towards the other side of her nostril. And then leaving a gap, I'll just draw an upside down, kind of like a V, or like a U shape. Let's move down towards her mouth. So in the center here, I'm going to draw a little point. This is going to be the middle of her upper lip. And then basically, I'm going to draw a U shape. Okay, so this is the notch in the top of her lips. And from here, I'm going to curl out two lines. So they kind of spread out this way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this. So I'm going to come downward towards a point in the middle of her mouth. So starting here, I'll curve down. And I'll connect that to the other side. So there's two lines going up and two lines going down. And then from here, I'm going to come in a little bit on the left side and draw a curve up towards the right side here. So, let's see what I mean when I do this. So, it kind of comes up. So there's a little bit of a gap on either side. So there's her lips. Let's go to the profile of her face. So once I get the face in, I like doing the profile of her face, and then that'll sort of help guide the rest of the head. So the hair and then the, the top of the head. So, starting up here at this point, I'm going to come down and curve it out just a little bit towards the cheek. Using my finger, I'm going to locate the bottom of her chin. So I want it to come to a point here. So what I'll do is I'll take this curve. I'll start curving towards where my finger is. Kind of straighten that out. And there we go. It gets right to the chin. On this side, she's got like these hair, really thick hair bangs that come down. So I'm going to sort of do the side of this first. So I'm going to come straight down, pretty low. Now I can sort of draw the rest of the chin in here. So the chin going to the cheek or to the jaw on this side. So I'll put my finger where I think the jawline would be. I'll curve a line and connect to that chin. So there we go. Now I can draw in the rest of the hair. So here, I'll locate where, how far I want the hair to come down. So right about here, I'm gonna come down and curl it up. Now this is gonna be like a J shape. I'll curl back up. Now I want this thickness or the space between this line and this line to be consistent. So I'm just going to keep looking back left and right to make sure that that line kind of looks like a sock. Now over here I'm going to do an overlap. So I'm going to overlap and almost mirror exactly what I drew, drew here on this side. So I'll come up and then I'll come straight up 
like that. Now from this point, I'm going to draw a curved line all the way to the other side of our head. This will be for the base of the crown, so right about there. Now I can draw the other side of our hair bang. So I'm going to draw this, but in the reverse. And this gets tucked in behind this cheek. So let's go straight down. And as I get towards the height of this area, I'm going to curl out and curl that back in behind that cheek. And from here, I can do a series of overlaps to get to the back edge of her hair. So I'll draw one more like that. Kind of like how I have it here. I have two over here and two over here. Once I get the neck and the shoulders in, then I can go back in and draw in the rest of the hair. So let's draw in the neck. So from the chin, I'm going to draw a line straight down. And move over. I want to kind of gauge how thick her neck is going to be. I don't want it to be too thick. But over here, I'm going to draw a line straight down. All right. Now that I have that, I can draw in the, this, the, uh, the cuff of her neck, the collar. So let's draw an upward curve like so. Let's get into the rest of her head before I get into the shoulders. On this side here, I want to draw a line straight up. This is for the edge of her crown. So as I go along the bottom here, she's got these little peaks that come around. So on this side, I'm going to imagine that this is going to go up pretty high because there's, it's going to actually wrap around in perspective. And I'll show you exactly what I mean there. So on this side, I drew a line a little bit higher than this side. I'm going to draw an angle. So it's angling up. So you have to imagine that this line is going to be mirrored pretty much the same as the top here. So I'm going to come down about halfway. So you can see that this height is the same as this height here. So I'm going to imagine an imaginary line that curves from this point to that point there. So as I go along, I'm going to draw a line straight up the same height as this. Then I'm going to go across and then come back down to the same height. I'm going to go across again, along that same line, then I'm going to go back up, just like I did here. So I'm going to recreate this shape on this side, but I'm going to imagine this curve coming down towards that point. So it's coming down, leaving a gap, and coming back down again, and then across. Here, I'm going to draw an angle. This is like one of these pieces being cut that way. On this side, I'm going to draw a sort of perspective. So, like I have here, I'm going to draw an angle and then a line straight down. So now it looks like the crown is sort of wrapped around. Let's draw some of the rivets in the, along the, the crown. So on this side, I'm going to draw a half circle on this side here. And I'll draw a half circle on that side. And in between, I'm going to draw three evenly spaced out circles. So I'm going to find the halfway point and draw a circle here. Find the halfway point here, and draw a circle of equal size. And then last one on this side, I will draw one final circle. So there's her crown. Let's get into the body. Now here, I'm going to just kind of come up a little bit on the neck, up here. And I'm start to slope a line down. So it's going to get kind of tucked in behind that hair, and come down on this side. I'll do the same thing on this side. So coming up on the neck, and curving down. So you've got sloped shoulders. But here I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to come up here and I'm draw sort of like an, a wave that goes up to that point. So starting up here, I'm going to come down and back up and then straighten out to that point. So you've got this nice little wave on her cloak. I'm going to do a little bit of detail, so wrinkle line. So this, I'll draw one right about here, but it's going to be pretty much the same curve as this like that, but only partial. I'm going to leave a gap here and here. And then along the neckline, I'll probably draw a swoop, kind of like that. Let's get into the chest area. So let's go up here. I'm going to draw a curve that comes in. I'll draw that same thing, but it's going to get tucked in behind this cloak. I'll draw the same shape. So it's mirrored, so it's like a, a C and a backward C here. And then from the hips, she's got very narrow hips, so in about the middle of that circle, sort of imagined circles, I'm going to draw a curve leading out towards the hips. And from here, I'm going to connect those two points with a curve that goes up. All right, let's get into the hips now. So from here, I'm going to curve a line down. 
Here, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but mirror it over. I'm going to draw a little bit of a cloth or a band coming down from the center of her, of her belt. So on this side, I'm just going to do kind of like a, a backwards S shape. I'll do the exact same shape on this side here. So coming around, backwards S. And I'm going to connect that with a straight line. Now with the skirt, I'm going to come along the bottom with an upward curve. It goes down and back up again. As I go along, I'm going to draw a little notch. So an upside down V. And I'm going to continue that behind this piece of cloth. So imagine this line coming across and then back up again. And I'm going to draw that in just to fill in that space. Let's draw the belt. So basically this curve is going to get replicated underneath like so. All right, so we've got an upper torso, lower torso. Let's get into the legs. So over here on the left side, I'm going to come in a little bit and draw a curve. So I'm sort of imagine this curve continuing on, but I'm going to leave a little bit of a, a gap there. This is the front of her shin. Now let's go to the back of her calves. So I'm not going to make her calves too big, but I'll start here. I'm going to come in towards that ankle, but then as I come in, I'm going to curve back out again. Okay, so it's kind of like a backwards S, and then I'll curve this back in for the heel. I'm going to curl a line out again for the ball of her foot. Now here, I want to draw a series of toes, so I'm just going to go like sort of like a, a C shape. One, two, three, four. And then from that last fourth toe, I'm going to connect that to the ankle with an uh, the curve like so. Let's go to the other side. I'm going to do the exact same thing but mirror it over. So over here I'll come in a little bit and curve the same curve as this skirt to the ankle. This side I'm going to come in towards that point but then curve out as I get a little bit narrower and then curl in the ball of the foot or the heel. Get into the ball of the foot. So slightly longer curve and then toes. So one two, three, four. Now from that point, I'm going to connect that to the ankle point here with a curve like that. All right, now let's get into the arms. So on this arm, if I imagine this shoulder sloping down, I'm going to follow that curve with her arm. So coming in a little bit on the left side, I'll curve in towards the wrist. Now I want the other side of the arm here to have a little bit of a, a kink in it. So this line, I'm going to come in about halfway on the arm and I'm going to sort of change direction slightly towards the wrist. So it kind of has a harder turn here. And from here, I'm just going to finish this off with a curve. I'll come up a little bit and draw another curve. This is for the wristband. Now let's draw on the hand. So the hand could be pretty simple. I've shown this exact same hand design in a lot of my other uh, drawings. So from this wrist, I'm going to curve in, okay, curving in, curl that around, and then go in the opposite direction. Right, so it kind of looks like a, so like a warped U shape. Then from here, I'm going to curve the opposite direction. All right, so wrapping around the opposite direction, curling that finger, so making a little curve turn here, and coming back towards that wrist. I'll stop right there and do an overlap here. Drawing another finger, and then coming a little bit shorter for the pinky and then connecting it to that wrist. So I'm just giving her three fingers here. Let's get to this side. Now this side could be a little bit tricky because she's got a crossbow in her hand. So I'm going to try to draw this crossbow very simple, but in perspective. So let's start, so if I imagine the crossbow being here, she's going to have her hand wrapped around it and holding this crossbow. So it's pointing that way. I'm going to draw the front edge of the crossbow first. So let's draw an angled straight line. Simple, just like that. From here on the bottom, I'm going to curve out. All right. And from here, I'm going to continue that angle like I did here. And then curl this around. And then come in up to that point. It's a little bit tricky, but you know, straight line, curve in, straight line again, and then wrap that around. From here, I'm going to try to mirror that same angle. So coming up, 
And then now I'm going to turn and follow that same line. It's turning. So you can see I'm going the same exact path as that line. And then I'm going to turn this. As I get past that point, I'm going to turn this and do a hard turn in. From here, I'm going to do an overlap. So I'm going to come back a bit, curve out. So I'm going to follow this same line, imaginary line. So this, I want to match up with this angle. And I'm going to curve that around, just like I did here. Curve it around. And curve that and connect to that point. So now this actual front of this crossbow looks like it's kind of in perspective, aiming that way. Here, I'm going to find the halfway point between this line and this line and draw a line in the same path. And from here, I'm going to curl a line to the front. Same thing here, I'll curl a line to the front. Find my halfway point from here to here and do that same curl. Now, you can see that this line is sort of aiming this way. I'm going to draw two ovals in that same direction. So one here and one here. These are for the bolts at the front of the crossbow. And if you want, you can add a little bit more detail by adding little circles for the straps for the, uh, for the strings, just on the ends. Very simple like that. Now, from here, I'm going to f this is the middle of this line here. I'm going to come up a little bit and make a mark. Come down and make a mark on the opposite side. So at this point, I want it to go in behind her chest here. So drawing a straight line towards the chest, I'll go over here and draw that exact same angle in towards her chest. Now I can draw her arm behind this crossbow. So from this point, I'm going to draw a line, a straight line. Now that I have that in place, I'm going to imagine this arm coming around and grabbing on to the crossbow. So here, I actually want to draw her fingers. So if I imagine the bottom of this crossbow, bottom edge, is going to be about here, I want to draw some fingers on this side. So I'm going to draw a point right about there. From this point, I'm going to curve up, wrap this around, and come straight into that dot. Now I'm going to do a series of overlaps. I'm going to draw that same finger three times. So shape here and shape here. Now that I have that, I can come up about halfway along those fingers and draw a line right across like that. And now I can draw the back of her cape. So if I imagine this line, this is her cape. It comes down straight, down to about here. So imagine this line coming down anywhere there's no body part. I'm going to drop my pen down and curve a line out. Same thing for here. Put my finger across. This is where the bottom of the cape will be. Imagine this line coming down behind that arm behind those fingers, right about here. There's nothing there in the back. I'm going to drop my pen and draw that line coming straight down. Now from here, I just want to finish off the bottom of this cape by drawing a curve that connects that point to that point. But as I go along, again, I'm going to draw an upside down V. Again, follow that path, connect that. And last piece is the quiver in the back with her hair. So now that I have this, the shoulders in place, I could draw on another layer of hair here. I could probably draw another layer of hair on the other side. The quiver is basically angled like this. So, from this shoulder line, I'm going to come up. And I'm going to go into a 90 degree angle that way. So it gets tucked in behind that hair. Now this is the simple part. I'm going to draw two sticks. So from this point, I'm going to draw a line up. I'll move over a little bit and draw a line in a different direction. So it kind of goes like this. And I'm going to thicken this up by going across at the top and then just drawing that line twice over. Same thing here. Across and down. And then from these points, I'm going to angle them in an angle like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go across, draw those. And from here, I'm going to follow that same line and come down on both sides. And then that same angle connected into that the shaft of that arrow. So coming down on both sides, angle those in, and there we have it. I think that's it. There's the Archer Queen from Clash of Clans. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you again soon.